One of my friends in my school community asked, Hey Sonic, can we build a platform where the user comes in, enters all their information about their business, and then automation continuously develop new posts and then post them to their social media platforms every single day, like an automatic social media manager, but just having one entry point at the beginning. So let me show you how we built this out today. So this is built in high level and make.com. You have a form where a user comes into a website and they enter their brand name. I just have a place holder for Nike. They have their business niche where they focus specifically, maybe a shoe sales, and then their primary offer. What exactly are they selling? Then the tone, whether it's professional and the audience that they're going after. Are these distressed homeowners? Are they basketball players? After they click on your ad, where do you want them to funnel to? Maybe it's a website, maybe it's a landing page, maybe it's a school community. I have a school community as well that you can join where I teach and I'm gonna give away everything that I build tonight and then the preferred platform. So right now, High Level integrates with a number of social media platforms. These are the prominent ones. So I went ahead and picked them for now. And then where is your business? Is it in Seattle, Washington, wherever that geographic location is? Because social media has a really good understanding now of how to push your content to your target audience automatically. You don't even need hashtags really in social media these days but I tend to just put them in because I'm a little bit old school like that. And then we need a way to tell the automation whether this is a go, like we're ready to start executing now or just go ahead and pause the campaign. So maybe you're charging somebody on a monthly basis and then when they stop, you can pause this or when they're ready to begin after the beginning of the month, for example, you can switch this to configured, which will start the automation. Just like everything else in high level, it is tied to a user identity. So an email address has to be plugged in here. It doesn't have to be in your platform right away, but it does have to be plugged in here. And then they would hit execute. When they hit execute, that is one of the triggers. The other trigger is whether that form has been set to configured or not. The other way to trigger this is on a scheduler. So after the first round, we want this to continuously post to that Facebook account every single day. So we have the scheduler set to every hour just for testing purposes. And then what happens is the data goes over to OpenAI and we have a prompt that goes through and tells exactly what ChatGPT should develop based on the customer's input. And that's why we have all sorts of variables that we'll create together. It also updates the contact field. We need a placeholder for this social media post that gets created. And then we send that post through a custom webhook over to make.com. And make.com just makes this so much easier. You don't have to worry about headers and graph APIs and all sorts of nonsense. It's just a webhook, meaning that the data gets delivered to make.com and then from the first node over to the Facebook page and then the Facebook page literally posts it to your Facebook page and then the post shows up. So let's go ahead and test this workflow out and I'll show you exactly what's working. So we're gonna pick a contact. We have our test four and then run the test and then that executes. So let's take a look at the execution log. So it's 803 right now as is the time of this recording. So the first thing was you added it to the workflow, the user, and then it went over to GPT to go ahead and create that post based on the input. We then updated the contact field of the user and then through a custom webhook, we sent the data over to make.com and then ended this workflow. And then that data made it over to the webhook on make.com, went over to the Facebook node, and then posted it to our Sonic Combinator page, which looks like this. Posted just now, it was a link to our school community where we share these types of workflows. And I mentor entrepreneurs to build their businesses and give them all sorts of cool consulting and technology to help make them profitable. So now let's go ahead and build this together. So jump into your sub account over here and then come down to settings and then click on custom fields and then jump over to here. In here, we're gonna go ahead and create a folder. So hit add folder up here, give it a name like social wizard and then hit save. That'll create a folder, go ahead and jump into that folder and then you're gonna create each one of these variables. It's very straightforward. Just jump up here, go to add field and then click single line and then next. And then the first one is called brand name. The group should be pre-selected. We already have it in our social wizard. If not, go ahead and put it there. And then you can have a placeholder. I like to put this as an example so that way people know that I'm looking to put in something like Nike. And you can even do something like example Nike so people know what to put in here. And then just hit save. And that'll create the first variable just like this. Now go through and build every single one of these out 
should be about 10 of them total. You can pause here and then create each one until you're done. Right after you have your custom fields created, you want to build a form. So for that, go into your sub account, go down to sites, and then go to forms and builder. You want to add a form and then start from scratch and create. And you'll have a template form that comes up over here. You'll have a template form that comes up over here. Give it a nice descriptive name, like social wizard, for example. And then the only thing you need here is your email for now. So go ahead and delete these other ones. Click the blue trash can on the top right for each one. Click it and then trash can and then leave the email. You don't need any of these over here either. Click delete those. You don't need the policy terms and conditions. Delete those. The button, you can rename that just by clicking in here. I like to call it execute. For every field that you created, it's in the second tab over here add object fields and then social wizard that's why it's important to put them in a folder you click there and then for each one you literally drag over and you drop to the right and just go top to bottom and just drag all the way to the bottom and now you should have all of your 10 fields plus the email one that you left from the beginning and your form is ready to go hit save and then later you're going to put this on a website or on your landing page for now for testing purposes you don't need to post this anywhere. You can simply hit preview and then enter this form. Next, you wanna go back to the sub account and then go down to automation. It's the one with the display button next to it. And then in here, try to keep everything organized as well. So go ahead and create a folder and call it social wizard and then create. And that'll create a folder for you. Inside that folder is where we're gonna build our automation. So say create workflow. And now we're gonna recreate this. So we're gonna have three triggers and then we're gonna have three steps in this workflow. So on the top right, go to add. And by the way, this is an advanced builder mode. So hit the drop down over here. If you're in standard builder mode, that's the older way of doing things. Go to advanced builder. If it's not activated, go into your agency view, go down to settings in the lab. That's done over here. Go up here to go to your agency view, go down to settings and then labs. And then you have two options here. Agency means any kind of lab or beta equipment for the agency itself. But because we're in a sub account or maybe you have a client you only want to enable this for, you click on sub account and then you look for advanced builder and then you enable this. Now come back into your workflow again. For the folks that already have advanced builder, just hit the drop down, click on advanced builder and then you'll see this view. As opposed to standard builder, which is your workflows going north to south. So in Advanced Builder, we're just looking to recreate this. So start with Add on the top right. The first one is a trigger. Click on Add Trigger, and we're looking for Scheduler. We'll click on that one. And then the interval is how often do you want this to run? If you're testing this out, just have it run hourly, or you can have a specific cron job, which means you can be very custom in how often you want to, to run this. I would probably stick with daily when I'm selling this to a client, but let's pick hourly because we're testing. And then we say every one hour we want this to run and then hit save trigger that care that takes care of the scheduler next up is form submitted so go to the top right again add trigger and we want form submitted click on that one and in this case we're telling it which form is submitted so hit the filter and say form is and then pick the form out of your list and hit save trigger and now we have our form as well and then the third trigger is the contact change meaning that in that withered status, that last category at the bottom of the form, if we change that to configured, then this would execute. So once again, top right, add trigger, contact changed, click on that. And then what did it change? Add filter, contact has changed to, and configured. And then hit save trigger. Now we have our three triggers that can kick off this workflow. So next is the brains part. This is where we take the input and we send it over to ChatGPT to build our post. So now it's an action. So add action and just search for GPT and you'll see this one over here, GPT powered. Remember this is premium, so it does cost you. I think it's like one cent per execution. I could be wrong on that, could be a little bit more, but you wanna use the cheapest model possible, which is GPT 4.0 mini. It's still a thousand times smarter than us and does a great job. So just pick the cheapest one for now. Leave this custom and then post this prompt that you can pause and then write in or copy it from my school community if you're already in there. And then whatever GPT creates as a post, we want a place for that to pause and hold so that way we can send it via custom webhook. For that, we need to update a contact field. So go ahead and add another action and this is gonna be update contact field. And in that contact field, we wanna change the field primary offer and we wanna put the variable 
ChatGPT1 response. The way you find this is you hit this tag and you search for GPT, which is down here, click on that. And then number one, GPT powered by OpenAI, and then response. You click on that and it'll populate this variable right here. So what we're saying is whatever GPT sends us back, you put it into this variable. So it's like a stored location. And then whatever this is, is what we're, we're gonna send to make.com. And this last piece is how we're gonna send this data to make.com. So go ahead and say add, add action. And this is a custom webhook. And this next part, you actually need to create your make.com account and then start your workflow there in order to get this URL. Let me show you how to get that. So when you first create your make.com, you're gonna see this giant purple plus sign, hit webhooks for that. And then say custom webhook and then create webhook. Give it a descriptive name like social wizard and then hit save. That's gonna give you this link right here. So when you hit copy address to clipboard, grab that to paste over here in high level. That's how you would get that URL. And then for content type, application JSON, we're saying that we're gonna send this in JSON format over to make. And then all you need to do in your raw body is send that one response. So you're gonna put exactly this, curly brackets on top and bottom, caption with quotes, colon, and then the variable that says chatgpt.1.response and hit save action. We're simply just test sending whatever GPT sent us back, putting that into a contact and then sending that same data over to make.com. And when you send that data for the first time to make, it's gonna understand the structure of that post that it receives. And you're gonna see something that says data structure captured. And that's a good thing. Hit save. And when you first send data to make.com, to that URL that you copied earlier, it's gonna say data structure captured. That means Make now understands how this post is supposed to look from top to bottom. So that's a good thing. Hit save and then hit the plus sign either down here or right next to this one, there's gonna be a plus sign and you're gonna add the Facebook pages. Search for Facebook pages, click on that and then click on Facebook and authenticate to your account. You're gonna have to put in your username and password and log into your Facebook account which makes it really easy and it connects automatically. And then however many pages you have associated with your Facebook account are gonna be in this dropdown. So pick the one where you want to post this. I pick Sonic Combinator, for example. And then your call to action link that goes within your post. So you put that and hit save. Now you're ready to test the whole workflow. So from beginning to end, you can either go fill out this form wherever it's hosted in your preview mode if you wanted to, or you can come in here if you've already done it one time, hit test workflow, and you can pick your same user over and over again. So if you wanna do multiple tests, something's not working, something's not clicking, you can just come in here and keep testing over and over again until you sort it all out. Use Gemini Pro, use ChatGPT to troubleshoot it with you, or you can jump into my school community and show me the problem. We'll share a screen and then I'll help you. It's a free community. And then if you use my affiliate link, then I have multiple webinars where we build all sorts of cool automations like this. And I share a complete agency build out with you as well. So you can resell it to all of your customers down the road. So join today, hope to see you soon. If you wanna try your hand at doing this yourself, instead of just watching, you can use my high level affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, you get an extended 30 day high level trial, hundreds of pre-built AI agents, access to my school community, 40 plus business and marketing courses that I've built. You'll have all of my website template that you've seen me create. I'll even hop on a live Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. You'll have a direct line to me and also a chance to join my agency and run some of these businesses that I have as well as take on my client. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.